starts 14 and 14 when someone else does. That someone else, Bubby Brister today. Eagle defense uh, set the tone early in the first. Rodney happened on the carry, but Mike Flores drops him for a seven yard loss. What happened on this, TJ? Well, you see Flores is trying to be blocked by Aaron Pierce. He actually takes Aaron Pierce and throws him into the, into the ball carrier. Then Eagles get it going on D again. Dave Kurt Brown is pressured. He tries to go over the middle, but is intercepted by Mike Zordich, who returns to the Giants' 40-yard line. Then Bubby gets it going. Hits Mark Bavaro. A 27-yard touchdown strike. He dives in for the score. Eagles leading 7-0. Their first first-quarter touchdown in nine games. In the second quarter, some bad news for the Eagles. Charlie Garner ruptures his kneecap on this play and he would leave the game in obvious pain he takes with him the eagles rushing game only eight first half yards on the ground for the eagles 10 nothing eagles in the second giants driving and tj look at that little nugget run and fumble <laughs> eric allen picks it up and goes every which way he can a 30 yard return for allen after all this eagles up 10-3 at the half before he, before he finally goes down. The Giants offense gets on track in the fourth, 13-6. Dave Brown hits Rodney Hampton, the swing pass for 14 yards. Then truly, Dave Meggett, five yards for the touchdown. The game is tied at 13-all. On the ensuing kickoff, Jeff Seidner fumbles the ball. The Giants recover. What happened here, TJ? Well, you're gonna see Seidner run into his own man right there, has the ball in his left hand. Ball right on his own man, pops out. Giants ball, third and 15. Brown hits Meggett, and he goes 32 yards to set up the field goal, and the Giants on top, 16-13. The Eagles, though, with a last chance. Bubby Brister is picked off by Barnett. Eagles out of timeouts. Buster there, excuse me, Bubby Brister completes it. Giants think it over. Bubby Brister tries to get out of bounds. The Giants pick it up with time running out. The Giants, they think the game is over. But that's not the case. So Bubby Brister with one more play. Everyone is confused here. The officials let Brister spike the ball with two seconds left. Everyone's confused. Brister wants to know, and the ref says the spike possibly allowed the Giants to pick up the ball and allow the clock to keep going. Finally, Eddie Murray is allowed to try a 45-yard field goal. Just barely wide left. The Giants win a crazy one, and the Eagles are eliminated. Oh, no one can believe what happened. 16-13, the Eagles are eliminated. Brister, 25 of 39, 182 yards. Dave Brown, 18 of 27. Hampton.